Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Mystery Box Monday. Today we're opening some packages that came into the post office box of some mystery products slash repack boxes slash mystery boxes. We're going to check them out. And uh, before we do that, this is an eBay purchase. I'm going to open this one first because I think this one might be something pretty cool. A very expensive box that I picked up on eBay. So we'll start here and this will kind of also give you a little bit of a, uh, I guess, a sneak peek as to what's coming up over the next, I don't know, course of a month or two on the channel. So inside we have a bunch of blue um, packaging paper there. It looks almost like it's a party in there. And uh, here's why. Take a look at what's inside, guys. It is a box of 2011 Tops Update. And uh, of course, the big, the big chase card in there is the Mike Trout rookie card, which I haven't been watching the prices recently because they're just so astronomical. I think a PSA 10 goes for like seven to $8,000 of that card before. And actually I did pull a Mike Trout gold card about three years ago from a box in one of our breaks. I sent that off uh, to our, I forget who, who our Patreon member was. Uh, I think he was in Hawaii, his name was Adam, but he told me uh, a couple months after that it was a PSA 10. That's a $30,000 card now. So we'll be checking out this at some point on the channel, a blaster box of 2011 Tops update. Um, some crazy stuff right there looking for the Mike Trout. So I just wanted to put that out there that that's coming up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So when we do post that video or when we post a break to do that, um, you will not miss a thing. So let's go to get started with the other stuff. These mystery pack products. This first one comes from, it looks like that's a Chalfont Sports Connection. Let's go ahead and check it out and see what's inside. Hope everybody's having a nice Monday. And uh, while I'm getting this open, if you haven't already hit that like button, please hit the like button, helps the videos out. Also, I hope you'll subscribe. I'd love to have you along for our videos as we do a video every single day. Let's see what we've got inside. There is a note and here is their product. So. Go ahead and lay this stuff out on the screen first. Looks like we have maybe three packages here. Oh, there's a nice value pack there of Topps Chrome Update. Very nice stuff right there. So let's check it out. So there's the Chalfont packs. Here's their business card. Looks like they're in New Britain, Pennsylvania. We'll leave that right there. And here is the note. So the note says, Jabs, I've been watching your videos for years, and they are great. I now run a card shop in Bucks County. Get out of here. I would love to meet you sometime. Here's an example of mystery packs that we make. We sell them in our Facebook group, and we normally sell out around 130 packs in 15 to 20 minutes. So pretty popular. I hope you enjoy them. So if you're on Facebook, um, I'm... I just recently got back onto Facebook after about 11 year hiatus. So uh, I'm not in any Facebook groups yet, but that's something you might want to check out if you are on Facebook and you know maybe check out the Chalfont Sports Connection. Pretty exciting that you sell out so quickly in 15 minutes selling 130 packs. It must be pretty good. And uh, also whenever you see a mystery pack, you never know what to expect. Sometimes you might think, oh, that that's too good to be true. They must have juiced that. So I would always recommend you look for other, you know, feedback, maybe other reviews if they sell on eBay, if they sell in a Facebook group, maybe see what people are commenting about it. If there's a lot of demand like this, where it's selling so quickly, then we might have a winner here. So let's check out what we've got. Now, I don't know exactly what's in here. It might be baseball, it might be football, it might be a mixture of sports cards. I, I have no idea. I can also not tell you the price here. Um, so let's check it out, and I guess you'll just have to do a little more research on your own, a little digging in the Facebook group, if this is something you might be interested in. So we have a stack of packs here, a hobby pack of 2020, Tops Update. We've got Allen and Ginter, that looks to be like a retail pack, a brand new hobby pack of 2021 Tops. Very nice, I'm going to be taking those and putting them in my uh, stack. I'm trying to get as many 2021 Tops cards as I can so I can start to put the set together. We've got a Bowman pack and a silver pack from 2021. Very nice stuff right here. You know where I'm going to start. It's going to be the Allen and Ginter pack as I usually open the cards that I'm least excited about first. 
because I like to save the best stuff for last. There's a Randy Johnson, Joe Maurer. There's a Jim Catfish Hunter. We've got an elephant. And there is a long ball, Laura Willie McCovey. And we've got a rookie card. It's Aristide Sacchino. Take that one. Next, we'll go to the update pack and see what we can find. And here, Derek Collin from the Buckos. There's a Gavin Lux rookie debut. Not too bad. His cards really dropped off pretty quickly throughout 2020. There's a nice one. Bo Bichette, rookie debut as well. Now, the rookie debuts aren't worth nearly as much as the base rookie cards. It's a nice little... You know, nice little update feature that they have in the update sets, but uh, you know, not a ton of value to those, but a little bit. There's a Zach Green silver foil card. That's a cool one. You never know what's going to happen with a rookie, so I'll take a silver foil rookie any day. The rest of the cards there is uh, nothing too exciting. So let's do our Bowman pack, and then we'll move on to the 2021 pack. We also have that uh, Chrome update that they sent as well. Got to check that out. I was Put that off, off, off camera and forgot about it. Sheldon Noisy, he just got traded, right, to the Dodgers not too long ago. Pretty good pack, though. Mike Trout and Frankie Lindor in the same pack. We've got, oh, look at that. That's a nice one. Alec Baum, who is, uh, you know, the more and more I think about it, the more and more I think that he might be my number one for the 2020 class, at least right now. It is, a, it's not his first Bowman or anything like that, but it's a number out of 499. So a great card right there. I'm going to have to put that aside. We're coming up, <coughs> sorry, we're coming up on 85,000 subscribers. So I'd like to do another giveaway at some point. Maybe that one will be one of those cards that I give away. So very nice one right there. Let's go ahead and check out the 2021 hobby pack and maybe we'll get lucky and hit something here Fulton Avich. we've got an Ian Happ there's Joey Votto Jordan Alvarez Nico Horner future star card am I even going to get any inserts in this pack or just all base cards I guess all base cards is fine with me since I'm going to try to put this set together so I'm all about getting a bunch of commons for 2021 tops I'm going to go ahead and turn around and put this in my stack I'm probably up to maybe about 150 cards or so in my stack right now We've got our silver pack here. These come in uh, a hobby box, one per hobby box, four nice 86 chrome refractor cards. Josh Donaldson, there's a nice Bo Bichette. Trevor Story and Shane Bieber is the last one there, so nothing crazy going on. And then there's just this home run challenge promotional little card. I just throw that away. All right, so not too bad. Uh, my favorite card from that first pack was the Alec Bomb. Let's check out this next one. I don't know if there's a difference. Um, first one was a gold pack. This is a green pack. I don't know if they have different prices or not. Again, you'll have to do a little research. Um, I'm guessing now that this may all be one lot. This is, might be one mystery pack because we had our packs, and now we have our hits. So look at this. There's hits in top loaders now. So some of you guys might have to help me out on the non baseball players there's andrew luck justin blackman we have a jimmy butler jordan bell there's a baseball guy as you guys know i'm 24 7 baseball mike piazza hall of famer right there 2001 rookie nate tiet i've never heard of nate tiet before i don't even know if i'm saying the name right wendell smallwood and um there's a hit there it's a hisashi iwakuma 2007 rookie auto of Garrett Wolf and James Wiseman. Rookie card is the last one. So I don't know if, it's, if any of these non-baseball ones are good. Let me know. I'll take them, put them in the uh, giveaway pile. Let's check out this value pack. These you can pick up at Target if you're lucky enough to find one for about 10 bucks. There's three packs plus you get two pink refractor cards. Pretty cool little bonus right here. 2020 Topps Chrome Update. There's a Griffey. Uh, Ortiz, Jeter, and Pedro. A throwback pack with not a single current player in there. That's uh, one of the uh, bugaboos of 2020 update. I mean, those cards are awesome. Don't get me wrong, but they're never really going to attain much value. There's an Eric Davis. So our first five cards, all throwbacks. There's a nice one, Fernando Tatis Jr. If you haven't seen our video from yesterday, man, the Jabs Family subscription box really yielded a, a winner of a card. Last night, there's Jordan Alvarez rookie debut. We'll take that one. That's a good one. I'm gonna go ahead and put that one aside. Get that one sleeved up. Next up, we've got an Aaron Judge, Starlin Castro, Robbie Cano, and Edwin Encarnacion. So nothing crazy going on in those packs, but we do have our pink parallel. There's a Ronald Acuna Jr. That is a nice one, and Yadier Molina, future Hall of Famer right there, and a major star. 
Raul Acuna Jr. Someone might want that one. I'll toss that one in the giveaway pile. All right, so that's our first mystery box. Again, you got to check them out on Facebook, and they are called Chalfont Sports. And again, I don't know anything about that, but I'm pretty pumped um, to make your acquaintance. And, uh, you know, I'm in Pennsylvania, other side of the state, but maybe I'll have to come by and do a little video for your shop if you'd like me to. I love doing those card store videos. All right, so next up. Moving into mystery box number two. So I can't really give you much feedback on that. I don't know what the price is. I do like opening packs, um, but you know, the price is uh, gonna be the main determination if that was a winner of a mystery pack or not. So you have to check them out. So next up, and uh, I forgot to remove the address from this one. So I'm going to just, I don't know if they want their address shared or not. So we'll cover that one up, but it's called the Home Plate Hot Box 2. Home Plate Hot Box, it says mystery box Monday, right on the package. So. Um, you know that they would like or appreciate us to review this. So let's see what we've got. Again, all these were sent to me free of charge. And um, if you've got a mystery box product you'd like me to check out during this series, you can send it my way. And uh, yeah, we'll open it up free of charge. All right, so let's see what we've got. This is going to have a couple bubble mailers in here so right off the bat you know you can't always tell from you know the packaging how good a mystery box is going to be i always like to see things that look professional maybe even a sticker slapped on there but um you know that's just me and i you know i can't i can't really speak too much about that because i'm not very creative or graphical or you know whatever the word is either but anyway this looks like it might be pretty interesting they made 107 of these mystery packs let's take a look at the note here it says hi eric i hope you're well i've created a second round of home plate hot box mystery box on ebay so i don't know first tip of advice for all you subscribers out there is maybe check out home plate hot box the first one or just go to his ebay page and see what people are saying see if he's getting positive feedback or not um it says i sent you a couple samples to review so we've got two samples here it's called the home plate hot box it's a 44.95 dollars plus five dollars shipping so about a 50 dollar box and he's only made about 107 of these a guaranteed nine or ten card is in um wow in every one of these that's really awesome i that's one of my favorite types of mystery packs it has a guaranteed psa card in there so it's gonna be a nine or ten Depending on who it is, you might get, you know, like if you get a common PSA card, it might only be worth a couple bucks. But if you get a nice rookie, it could be worth a little bit of money. It says it's going to be a current rookie, current star, recent star. And they have a list below of uh, all the different cards that they have in there. That's pretty good because, you know, they're not going to just slip you in like a, uh, you know, I don't want to say um, maybe a guy like Eric Davis, 2020 Topps Chrome Update, PSA 9. Wouldn't it be a great one? Trying to pick someone that's not going to offend too many people. Eric Davis is now retired, so I just kind of looked over at my card list. But um, you never know what you're going to get in these mystery packs. Sometimes the PSA cards will be pretty crappy. Sometimes they might uh, be half decent. So, again, check the feedback. But anyway, it says each pack contains one autograph and a diverse collection of 15 cards, a random mix of rookie stars, sapphire, serial numbered, short prints, inserts, parallels, chrome cards, prisms, refractors, and vintage cards. It says look for randomly inserted memorabilia and more. They've got a chase card there, a Tatis, worth over $400. Here's a list of all the PSA cards. Um, you can see the PSA 10, Fernando Tatis, is going to be a really, really nice hit right there. They also have a PSA 9 Tatis somewhere in there. You can take a look down the, I guess that might be the top one, or the top 20 or whatever, because it says, and more rookie cards. All right, so let's see. We've got two of these. It's $50 a piece. Let's see what it's all about. It's called the Home Plate Hot Box and inside we have uh, another bubble mailer so double mailed it up alright so let's see what we've got uh, very much appreciate that always like it when they hide the hit makes it a little bit easier for me to reveal it we've got a Davy Garcia who's got a rookie card in 2021 so Looks like basically what you get in here is about uh, 15 cards. Let's check out what they are. Davey Garcia, Pat Neshek, Gold, Frankie Lindor, Prism. There's a first of Lamont Wade, first of Brett Martin, Keston here, a rookie debut rookie card from 2019 update. I love that set. 
Aristides Aquino rookie card. Kyle Lewis rookie card for my money. That's the best one of the day so far. There's a Mike Trout, a Gavin Lavalle from um, Draft Picks, a Yuan Moncada rookie card is another nice one. Take those two and put them in the eventual giveaway pile there. There's Jake Cave, rated rookie from Optic with the yellow border. Ryan Barucki, Refractor. Sandy Alcantara, rookie card. Byron Buxton. Kurt Kaufman, 85. Nice one, a vintage Tommy McGraw. And we have an autograph there. It's going to be a... Is that Steven Gonzalez? Yes, Steven Gonzalez. So 65 McGraw and great... Yeah, not, maybe not so great. I didn't see that corner with the little little... What is that, Chad or something hanging on there? Remember the uh, Chad talk from the election of 2000? But anyway, so $50, you get 15 cards. A couple nice rookie cards in there, like the Moncada and uh, the Kyle Lewis. Pretty nice stuff. And now let's check out our PSA graded 9 or 10 card. All right, let's see who it's going to be. We'll start from the bottom and see if you can figure out who it is. Well, no, we won't. Let's flip it around this way. All right, that's going to be Jordan Alvarez, based off of that logo and the gold cup. It's going to be Jordan, wow, Jordan Alvarez, PSA 10. Very, very nice one right there. That is a good hit for sure, and I'm sure that that's probably one of the chase cards on here. PSA 10, Jordan Alvarez. I do see PSA 10-9, Jordan Alvarez. So one of the chase cards, a great card right there. I'm, you know, some people are a little low on Jordan Alvarez because he's been banged up for injuries, but... uh I haven't given up on him. I still put his cards aside, especially his rookie cards. Let's check out pack number two of the Home Plate Hot Box. We only have one more left for today. Let's see what we've got in here. Again, this is a product you can pick up on eBay. We've got a Blake Rutherford Bowman 2020 with the camo border. And there's a Rowdy Telez. Good old Rowdy Telez. Haven't seen his autographs too often anymore. Used to see a lot of him in 2019 products. There's a Sam Huff first Bowman. We've got, oh, that's a good one. Byron Laura first Bowman. Very, very nice one right there. That one is going to get um, probably top loaded up, honestly. A Jordan Luplo mini. There's a Jake Riznik gold. Alberto Mondese. Got a Greatest Moments card of Aaron Judge. <coughs> Gavin Lux rookie card. Trying not to cough here. There's a Carlos Correa rookie card. Nice one right there. Is that part of the card or a thumbprint on the top? But it's still pretty cool. Could probably just buff that right out. Carlos Correa, Chris Paddock rookie card. Another nice one from 2019 update. Love that set. Jordan Alvarez rookie card. 85 design. There's a Bregman. Michael Choice rookie. Starling Marte chrome refractor. Richard Blyer. Nice sapphire or atomic ice card right there. There's a Joe Price 83. We've got a nice John Romanowski, 1959 tops. Take a look at the back. Pretty nice card right there. And Drew Burris. So now comes down to the PSA graded card. Let's see what we've got. Trying not to uh, spoil it for myself and all of my viewers out there by haphazardly revealing what the card is in advance. All right, so let's see. We'll go from the bottom again, see if you can figure it out. Oh, that's Bo Bichette. You can see those... Blue high socks, Bo Bichette rookie card, and that is a PSA 9. So definitely two of the top rookies from 2020 Top Series 1 in there. Again, it's called the Home Plate Hot Box. Check it out on eBay. Check out their feedback, and uh, $50 is the price. So thank you very much, guys, for sending that over. Hope you guys will check them out one more time, just in case there is their eBay. And I guess that's how you would find their store, by searching his name or maybe his product. Now we're down to the last one. This one, I don't know what it's called. It's from, oh, here we go. It looks like it's called Dino Fly. Dino Fly, that's all I really have for you on this one. It does say on it that it is for Mystery Box Monday, MBM. Um, and uh, I cut their address off and didn't know if they wanted that shared or not. So let's check it out. Dino Fly is our final one of the night. There is a note inside, and there are some ruby packs. Cool stuff. I like the look of these. Dino Fly value packs. This is definitely one that I don't think I've seen before. Let's check it out and see what we've got. So, inside the Dino Fly packs, let's see if the note will give us a little bit of insight. It says, hey, hey, Jabs. Thanks for taking a look at my Dino Fly Value baseball card packs. Each order will receive two packs of 15 baseball cards. 
Each card is valued at between $1 and $3, and that's based off of eBay recently sold listings. So they're not going to getting a Beckett and finding, um, you know, I don't even know, 2007 commons that are still valued at $3. If you, think, if you ever look at it like a, an old Beckett, go back and look at that era. It's just amazing. How they, I don't know. They just never adjusted the prices. So eBay recently sold is the best way to go to see a... Uh, card or items actual current worth in today's marketplace. It says that means that at $15 per order, customers are guaranteed to at least double their money, $30 plus as such. If they feel you did not get at least double your value, he's going to accept the return and issue a refund. No questions asked. So that's a pretty big one um, because sometimes, you know, people will get a mystery box and I'll see people leave a comment like, man, I got a mystery box and uh, it was pretty crappy. Or you might look at someone's feedback on eBay. I look at I look at that stuff when I'm looking for like a large order to do, of uh, like, like 10 to 15 mystery pack products. I look at their feedback and some people might say, I wish I didn't pay $50 or $5 worth of cards or whatever. And uh, this is pretty cool here that he's going to give you your money back. No questions asked. That's a pretty nice one right there. They're the only mystery packs on eBay with a money back guarantee. That's what they said. So it says, I've developed these packs as an entry level pack for beginning collectors or investors who want to put the time in to list all the cards individually. Each card is inside a penny sleeve and is in near mint or better condition. These, there could be rookie stars, Hall of Famers, numbered cards, and parallels included in these packs. However, you will not receive any big hits, no autographs, no one of ones, etc. These cards are all worth between one and three dollars. So there's no chase card or anything like that. And, uh, you know, you got to respect Dino Fly for just telling you like it is. Um, you're not, don't expect anything big in these. Just expect, you know, one to three dollar cards. We'll get a sample of uh, the type of card you can see in this in one, one second here. So it says, thanks for checking these out. And I'd welcome any criticism you or your viewers have. You can find them under my eBay profile, Dino Fly Products, right there. Thanks for all the content. Steve from Dino Fly Productions. All right, Steve, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, love the packaging right here. So I always try to figure out exactly who I'm going to showcase in the uh, thumbnail. And you are a contender right now. Very, very nice stuff right there. So let's check these out. They're $15 a piece, like you said, 15 cards in each, all value between one and uh, three bucks. Let's see if we can not cut our finger and extend the not cutting my finger streak to four Mystery Box Mondays in a row. Usually if I cut a finger, it's on a Mystery Box Monday. All right, so here we go. We've got an Inception card on the back. And you can let us know in the comments which mystery box you thought was your favorite. Any criticism you may have. All right, so we have a Burt Blyle of an 84. I, I, you know, I'm a little surprised. I wouldn't probably consider that one a dollar. Um, Burt Blyle of Glaber Torres opening day. Brad Keller rookie card. There's a Mauricio Dubon rookie card. Tyler O'Neill rookie. Jackie Robinson. There's a Tom Glavin Fleer 93 insert card, career highlights. Aaron Judge. Ryan Barucki rookie card. We've got a Tyler Naquin. A Taylor Ward, another Tom Glavin. Buster Posey. We've got a Ryan Braun, not the Ryan Braun, but a Ryan Braun. This isn't the Milwaukee Brewers pitcher. And Josh Rogers. So uh, $30 in value. Did you get it in this pack? Um, personally, you know, I look at eBay recently sold a little bit differently than most. I feel like uh, if it sells for a dollar, I feel like all, most of that dollar is probably eBay fees and PayPal fees. Because right off the bat, eBay is going to take, what, 10 cents on the dollar. And then PayPal is going to take an additional 35 cents. So you got to watch those uh, cards are listed for a dollar on eBay. Sometimes they could literally only be worth about uh, 10 cents or so. So that's the first pack. Um, and um, we'll go with the next one right here. You'll have to let me know in the comments what you think the uh, total value of these packs are. And also, which one was your favorite? So, you got a gold card right here. Again, the top's gold. You know, those are probably worth one or two bucks a piece for people putting together the set. I could definitely see this as a solid one to two dollar card there. Danny Duffy. There's a cut above. Sandy Koufax. There's a Glaber with Aaron Judge. We've got a a greatness card there, a Tony Gwynn 87 tops, a Kyle Lewis 2021 tops, along with the Corey Seeger. Nice one right there. Aaron Judge, we've got Steven Duggar. Then there's a Daryl Strawberry, Los Angeles Dodgers 93 Fleer card. Personally, I'd probably give this card about a five cent value. Um, again, that's just you got to watch those eBay recently sold. There's a Ozzy Smith, Michael Kopech, 
Josh James rookie card. 150 years of fun, Mike Trout, and a purple border parallel of Gypsy Queen. So thank you very much, Dino. Well, I really appreciate that. Um, I'm going to take these two, these 21, 21, 21, 21. No, we're not 100 years in the future. 2021 Tops cards, put them in my little collection going back there. I appreciate you sending that over. Um, so you have to let uh, these, these um, entrepreneurs or eBay sellers or resellers or mystery mystery box makers i don't know what term i'm looking for here but you gotta let these um these folks know what you think of their products and give them any constructive criticism i guess uh, for that last one love the packaging but you really got to watch out anything that sells for 99 cents um you got to factor in a, a, a large portion of that is for ebay fees paypal fees and maybe even shipping so um, i feel like ebay recently sold as a great tool for what a card's really worth unless it's a common um like if you're looking for like top rookies or something like that, that's going to set the market. But um, pretty much cards don't really ever sell for under 99 cents on eBay because otherwise the person would be taking a bit of a loss. So that's just um, my one little crit criticism there, like a 93 strawberry, not really worth uh, that much at all. But a uh, cool idea. Love the packaging and I wish you the best of luck. And that's pretty awesome that you... Um, let people send the cards back if they feel like they didn't get double their value. So that'll do it for this episode of Mystery Box Monday. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Monday. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.